little bit of politics here on the race for Texas Lieutenant Governor, two-term incumbent Republican Dan Patrick taking a bus tour in rural Texas. His campaign didn't tell us where they were stopping beforehand, but they did tell us it'll be a tight schedule. So when political reporter Jack Fink did catch up with them, he was allowed to only ask three questions, and you're hearing the answers only on CBS 11. An hour after sunrise Wednesday, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick's campaign bus stopped at the Armadillo Grill in Bowie, Texas, 68 miles northwest of Fort Worth. I've never had so much fun campaigning. The Lieutenant Governor spoke with supporters and other diners individually. We asked him about his new crime plan, which he hopes to pass in the legislature next year. Guns are not the problem, it's the people who have the guns. We need to take them out of the criminals' hands. So we're going to put a 10 year mandatory sentence if you use a gun in a crime on top of whatever sentence you're receiving for whatever crime if you're found guilty of. He wants to get tough, not just on criminals. For the judges and the DAs who will not follow the law and prosecute crimes under Texas law, we've got to work uh, to find a path to be sure that they can't stay in office. I also asked him about abortion and what he thought about Republican State Senator Robert Nichols' recent comments that he supports changing the state's current law so rape victims could legally have the procedure. Now, abortions are only allowed to save the mother's life. So we'll see where the Republicans and Democrats are, we'll listen to the people, and we'll move forward. Look, my record is unassailable. I'm pro life. I'm pro life for everyone because I never think any baby should be another victim of a crime. Uh, but I understand you know, people's thoughts on it, and we'll uh, work through that. The lieutenant governor's stop here in Bowie is part of his bus tour throughout rural Texas, 131 stops in all. Rural areas are reliably Republican, and Patrick told me his party can't take them for granted. But we need to carry it by big margins. So, so that's the message. It's, it's to recognize, it's to galvanize everyone to vote, and to help mobilize the vote. He said I'll campaign in the state's big cities and counties, too. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.